What is the significance of his retirement? We just had Coach K retire as well. It's a sad day for college basketball. You think about Jay Wright, you think about all he's done, the manner in which he's run his program. Uh, he is a an amba great ambassador for the game, mm -hmm. college game. He's also a leader yeah. of the college game. And when you have a guy like that step away at 60 years old, two national championships, an Olympic gold medal, uh, that's significant. Mm -hmm. Having said that, uh, I think there are some reasons behind okay. it. And here are my reasons behind it. Jay Wright survived one and done. Mm -hmm. by doing it his way, mm -hmm. with maybe one of the best, if not the best, culture in college basketball. Yep. I think to do it his way, to, for the, the theme of Villain of the Basketball is to play for those who played before you. It really is a family. Mm -hmm. To maintain that culture in the environment of college basketball with NIL and the transfer portal is basically impossible. Mm -hmm. It really is, because if you're going to dip into the portal, then all of a sudden what comes with the portal is NIL. And it's not NIL, because when people talk about NIL, it's name, image, and likeness. Yeah. But you know what? These collectives, it's pay for play. Mm -hmm. Players are deciding to transfer, which they have a right to do, and then they obviously have a value. They're not getting paid for the name, image, and likeness. They're getting paid for, all right, the opportunity to help a program. It's basically legalized cheating. I think it would have been really hard for Jay to do what he's done with the culture he's the created he wants to do in it. the environment yeah. that we have in college basketball today. Not saying it's right, not saying mm -hmm. it's wrong, but I think he looked at the mirror and said, is this something I want to continue to do? Yeah. Olympics? Yeah. COVID? Yeah. Final Four? Uh. Incredible last two years. Mm -hmm. I think he, he also, quite honestly, is exhausted, I would think. I'm sure. I don't. I don't like your take at all, Coach. Oh, Let me get right. on you here a little nice. bit, Steph. Like you know, the coach I love so dearly. Let me tell you something. This is a great day. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why it's a great day. I'm going to sit up there and get some swan sad song about Jay Wright. Jay Wright, I've known this man for 20 years. Yeah. He is a phenomenal coach. It might pale in comparison to the kind of person he is. I love the man. I, I, and I saw Charles Barkley's tribute to him last night, and it was apropos. Anybody that knows Jay Wright the way we do, all of us, I worked in Philly for years, obviously. Barkley's got Philly roots and stuff like that. You know Jay Wright, it's impossible not to love the man. He's a great, great man. He truly is. And a phenomenal coach. And he's walking away on his terms. The last time we saw him, it was in a Final Four. The last time we saw Mike Krzyzewski, it was, in a t it was in a Final Four. We're talking about a two-time national champion in his case. We know how many titles Coach K won. I think it's a beautiful thing for the sport when guys like that walk away on their terms. Nobody pushed them out. Nobody said, get the hell up out of here. You had your day. All right, we appreciate you, but damn it, it's over. No. They sat up there and said, hey, we did our thing. It's okay. Life is beautiful. Let's look at what's in the future. I might want to relax. I might want to go on vacation. I might want to be just a special advisor, all right, special assistant and all this other stuff. And then, and, or I might decide I want to go to the NBA. The beauty of guys like this who are class personified, exceptionally accomplished, great leaders, great men, great people, the beauty of it is when society as a whole rewards them with the luxury of being able to do what they want to do. And that's what this is about. I'm not sad for Jay Wright at all because Jay Wright made the call. Jay Wright sat up there and said, you know, I mean, I, I have done the job. I'm good. <laughs> I might decide to do this or I might decide to do that. That's what we all want. I know I want it one day. Hey, hey, hey Stephen A., first of all, I don't disagree with anything you said. My daughter went to Villanova, played volleyball there. Jay looked after her for four years. He, he, he says... He's a better person than he is a Hall of Fame coach. Yeah. I agree with everything you're saying. But let's not fool ourselves. I got 10, 15 calls last night from head coaches, assistant coaches from all over the country. And they basically said it's a sad day for college basketball because one of the faces of college basketball, one of the leaders of college basketball, and we're being selfish, is basically decided to step away. And if you do not think, G Stephen A., that the culture of our game right now and what is going on in our game right now with the lack of leadership in college basketball mm -hmm. – and with everything that's going on, isn't one of the reasons, and I, Jay might not come out and say it because he's always politically correct, as you know, always yeah. says the right always. thing, always. always, never kind of missteps. But if you don't think that's true, that, that what is going no. on in our game right now has had an impact on his ability to do it the way he wants to do it, then you know what? You're fooling yourself. Because no, I'm not saying I'll you, across the board, I'm getting calls from Big Ten coaches, AC coaches, Big 12 coaches. They all say the same thing. Hold up. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is because of the very culture you described, 
Which, that's the beauty of him walking away on his own terms. That's the beauty of it. It's not something that he could have done. Like, if he had got bounced out in the first round or had a bad season and then make the NCAA tournament and this happened, we're having a different story right now. But that's not what happened, despite all the stuff that you just pointed out. The man was in the Final Four. And the one thing that I want to add is that I'm going to want you back on this show because we're going to have a conversation about NIL, name, image, likeness, and, and uh, the, 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 you know, the, you know, the transfer portal and all of this. We're getting into all of that because I've had several coaches who have called me, big-time coaches, you don't, worry, don't, don't worry about who they are, just trust me on this, okay, that have been complaining about the same thing you just highlighted, not just in college basketball, but in college football as well. Yep. And it is something that I'm going to address mm-hmm. in within the next week or two right here on first take because it needs to be addressed and we're definitely going to talk about that. But this day, regardless of all of that that you said, and you're absolutely right, the fact that Jay Wright is still able to sit up here and decide, I have options Mm -hmm. and I'm going to exercise it and I don't know what those options are. I'm just going to step away from Villanova, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Am I I finished coaching? Am I going to go to the NBA level? What am I going to do? I don't know. I love that. He's earned it. And that's a beautiful thing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.